What's up guys? We're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions. Got another amp dyno for you today. And today it is the CT Sound CT 3200-1D. It's the new 3200 watt amp from CT Sounds. And as far as I know, this is a totally new line. They've got a new build house, completely new lineup. And this is the first I've seen of their new amps. So this is the 3200 watt model. It's rated 3200 watts at one ohm, 1600 watts at two ohms. And I believe it was 900 watts at four ohms. I'll confirm that when we get over on the bench or in front of the dyno rather. Um, came with, real quick, came with one of these uh, base knobs, kind of the same that most of these amps are coming with these days, but the smaller knob, uh, plastic housing and uh, phone cord style so it won't come unplugged that in focus and then it came with uh, some mounting screws a couple decals and the uh, the manual so if you want to drop a guess below let us know what you think this will do catch you back in front of the dyno and we'll see what it does all right guys we're back uh, real quick just going to explain a few things uh, we're going to do certified, then we'll do uncertified, then we'll do dynamic. We're going to start at 4 ohms, then we'll do 2 ohms, and then we'll finish with 1 ohm. I don't think I'm going to venture under 1 ohm with this amp, uh, but we'll see. And then uh, I do want to cover real quick, this is the second amp that I did get from CT. Uh, the first one was DOA. It did nothing on the, the bench, there was no signal out of it. I sent it back, they said that there was a... Uh, a setting on the amp that they needed to set from the factory send it back I don't know if this is the same amp or not um, but this is the second amp I got from them and I am just gonna say I did do a few test runs and while it seems to work it something's funky so we're gonna roll with it we'll see what it does I, th I think the results are, are correct uh, I'm just having uh, an issue where it, it, it's just making power and it doesn't clip um, anyway we'll, we'll see so here we are we're gonna start with one ohm certified haven't had the chargers on for a bit I think my battery is probably around 14 and a half volts we'll see and start at four ohms we're at 14.6 volts so four ohms, it's rated 900 watts. Let's see what it does. That's what I'm talking about. Track, track actually ran out. That made uh, 1,295 watts into four ohms and we didn't see any clipping. So, first time I've experienced that. Dyno works. I uh, just ran another amp on it recently and I, you know, nothing's changed. The dyno's working. Something up with this amp. So, moving on. Two ohms rated 1600 watts. We're at 14.56 volts. Let's see what it does. Okay, I'm stopping it there. We got clipping. Okay, 2,573 watts into two ohms. Dropped to 14.26 volts. That honestly makes me worried to run this at one ohm. Uh, I'm gonna be careful. One ohm. start my track here we go we're at 14.5 volts starting rated 3200 watts okay 3743 watts 
into one ohm dropped to 14.1 volts. And it did, it did see clipping there. That is pretty damn impressive. So we're gonna move on to uncertified. Uncertified is the same as certified. It's a 40 Hertz tone, but the dyno will keep reading even with some clipping or distortion present. Whereas certified stops at 1% distortion. So continuing with four ohms, uncertified. Same 40 hertz track. Here we go, rated 900 watts. One thousand four hundred thirty-three watts into four ohm, dropped to fourteen point four volts, and two ohms. We'll get right in it. Two ohms rated sixteen hundred watts. Here we are, starting fourteen point five volts. Easily past sixteen hundred watts. We got two thousand five hundred sixty-five watts dropped to 14.26 volts and we'll go to one ohm starting at 14.48 volts I don't have chargers on so the batteries are dipping just a little looking to see 3200 watts here we know it'll do it 3797 watts into one ohm dropping to almost 14 volts even, 14.05 volts. So that is a solid, solid performance out of that. Kind of surprising. I initially thought this amp might uh, have some issues, but I, I don't think it does. So moving on into dynamic. Dynamic is a burst test. And it's 40 Hertz tone still, just as a burst track. And some amps will do a lot more on this, some, some don't. We'll find out if this is one. So starting at four ohms and 14 and a half volts, 14.58 volts, here we go. One thousand five hundred fifty-six watts into four ohms. We dropped to 14.42 volts. And two ohms, rated 1600 watts. Still at 14.52 volts. Here we are. A thousand watts overrated. Did 2,617 watts into two ohms at 14.32 volts. This is rated 1,600 watts. So moving on to one ohm dynamic. We're at 14.47 volts. Here we go. Again, a 3200 watt CT sounds. And we got 4,037 watts into one ohm. We dropped to 14.14 volts. And that is impressive. So hang on a minute, guys. I will post up the performance review and we'll get a look inside the amp once I get it back on the bench. See you in a minute. And we're back. I've got the amp opened up. We can get a look inside of it. I can say, I, you know, it's not what I expected. It looks better than what I thought it might look like. And that's honestly just based on the shape of it. Get a little closer for you guys. It's really packed in there. There's a lot going on. 
105 degree caps, does that say? Yeah. So, uh, look inside the CT3200. It's pretty heavy too. And one thing, you guys sometimes ask if these amps, oh, they must get hot and they must this and that. Uh, this amp, it's warm. Um, it actually, it smells like warm, brand new electronics, but it's not unreasonably hot or anything. So that is a look at the guts. And we'll look at these end caps here. So on this end, you do have a power and protect light, a plug for your base remote, uh, left and right RCA inputs, a base boost from zero to 12 dB, we had it off. There's your gain, low pass filter goes from 50 to 220 Hertz. A uh, subsonic filter is off up to 50 Hertz. And we'll look at the other end here. It does have pretty good sized one aught inputs. Uh, our uh, dual input slid in just fine and the welding cable fit just fine. Has uh, the remote there in between the power inputs I'd really, I wish it was next to the speaker outputs like it is on some other amps. It's hard to squeeze it in between your power cable sometimes, but uh, it works. And those are roughly, I don't know, 10 gauge, maybe 12 gauge speaker outputs and remote output. So that's it for the CT Sounds 3200. I was pretty impressed by it. I uh, have to, Put this in a car and see how it does in a car I'm kind of intrigued now but uh, let me know what you guys think of it and if you guys have any uh, thoughts for the channel any suggestions any questions go ahead and hit me with them and as usual i want to thank everyone for watching I want to wish you a happy new year and we'll see you next time